Thank you for joining me again. Welcome to another reading from the book, Our High Calling. Yesterday we learned that we are God's property and that he wants his property. Today this thought will be expanded. The reading for today is entitled, Take Care of God's Property, February 6th. Take my heart, O oh Father, take it, make and keep it all thine own. Let thy spirit melt and break it, this proud heart of sin and stone. Father, make it pure and lowly, fond of peace and far from strife, turning from the paths unholy of this vain and sinful life. Take care of God's property who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God our Father. Galatians 1 verse 4 You have caused much. Glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 that which you may regard as your own is God's. Take care of his property. He has bought you with an infinite price. Your mind is his. What right has any person to abuse a body that belongs not to himself but to the Lord Jesus Christ? What satisfaction can anyone take in gradually lessening the powers of body and mind by selfish indulgence of any form? God has given to every human being a brain. He desires that it shall be used to his glory. By it, man is enabled to cooperate with God in efforts to save perishing fellow mortals. We have none too much brain power or reasoning faculties. We are to educate and train every power of mind and body, the human mechanism that Christ has bought, in order that we may put it to the best possible use. We are to do all we can to strengthen these powers, for God is pleased to have us become more and still more efficient co-laborers with him. In Exodus, we read that at the time the Lord directed the Israelites to build a tabernacle in the wilderness, he gave certain men special ability talent and skill in devising, and then he appointed them to the work. He will deal with us in the same way, and although we may have to begin in a very small way, he will bless us and multiply our talents as a reward for faithfulness. Christ has died for you, and you are to live as unto God. Let your reasoning powers, refined, purified, sanctified, be brought to God. The Lord requires the sanctification of the whole being. The mind, as well as the whole body, is to be elevated and ennobled. God has claims upon mind, soul, and body. It is not in the power of those who have named the name of Jesus to give him more than is his own. 
He has bought every human agent with an infinite price, and we are his property for both time and eternity. Ever let thy grace surround me, strengthen me with power divine. By the cords of love that bound me, make me to be wholly thine. May the blood of Jesus heal me, and my sins be all forgiven. Holy Spirit, take and seal me, guide me in the path to heaven. Praise God for another inspiring message. How wonderful of our God to have left these words on the record for you and I to read and understand to whom we truly belong. Especially at this moment in the world's history, it is important for us to know to whom we belong so that we can make an intelligent decision because our time for making such a decision is now thank you for listening today and be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book our high calling god bless you